We are on the finale. Release the moon. Nice EQ shift. Bro, I would mock so fucking hard for this man. If I seen them live, holy fuck. Bro, I'm buying this album. I'm physically buying this album. Fucking amazing. I love that EQ shift automation. So fucking cool, dude. One hell of an album. Holy fuck, dude. Just goes right into everything, dude. And these guys do not fuck around at all, bro. At all. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit, dude. This album is amazing. Uh... I'm so mad that it took... <laughs> I'm so mad it took this long, bro. I'm so mad that it took this long to get to this. This is amazing. It's an amazing fucking album, dude. Great fucking request. Like, it's... No. This album, nothing tops it, man. Nothing. This is one of the best metalcore albums I have ever heard. And that includes Killswitch's debut. It, it, this one destroys Killswitch's debut. In my personal opinion, this is the sound that I fucking love from Metalcore. The Deep Blue, uh, the North Lane, uh, just everything, man. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing band. Thanks, dude, for fucking throwing this in. Let's get to my Pox picks. This is going to be hard, bro. It's going to be fucking hard, but we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it anyways. Number one on this album... Winterfell, dude. Winterfell just fucking just went hard, bro. That song goes fucking hard. Like, fucking hard, hard. Yeah, that, that song, that's the best song on this album. Straight up. Number two, Lorelai. Lorelai. Dude, Lorelai, The Lovers. Oh, my God. Fucking amazing song. I, I love it. I love the chorus. I love the breakdowns. I love I love the ending. I love the story. It's so good, dude. It's so good. And number three, The Unknown. The Unknown Strength featuring Chad Rulig. Really fucking cool, dude. Uh, this, this song just 
how to fucking break down the oh hey thanks for the subscription man appreciate it B C D F G B C D F G <laughs> sorry yeah man dude fucking killer killer album man great request fucking love you dude thank you for sending this to me man I, I feel very very honored that you sent this to me I, I don't see a lot of people listening to this shit man and I'm hoping that it's gonna, gonna be a lot of people that watch this and to see how much I fucking enjoyed this album dude I really hope that they click the like button and that they leave a comment telling me what their fucking favorite moments are in every single fucking track that's posted uh, cheers for your sub, cat. Run over your keyboard whilst you were setting up your account. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> I guess so, man. Um, yeah. Those are my prospects. MVP. The MVP for Divination. One second, let me look. The album MVP is gonna go to the motherfucking lead vocalist, Jake Taylor. Holy shit, dude. His screams. Prime metalcore. Prime fucking metalcore, man. Oh, it just makes me want to fucking punch someone, dude. It really does, dude. And I love the message that they have, that they convey in this album, uh, Protect the Earth. Super fucking cool, man. Super fucking cool. Love this, dude. Great fucking album. Hey, man, if you haven't followed already, fucking follow that shit. Follow me on Twitch if you haven't already, dude. All right. But anyways, yeah, man. Um, and come to Discord, dude. Fucking, we'd love to have you in Discord. Let's get into it, dude. Influences. My top influence for Divination. In Hearts Wake, Divination. Parkway fucking drive. Parkway drive, dude. Pfft. Filthy. Filthy, filthy influence. I hear it plain as fucking day, bro. Plain as fucking day. It's Parkway drive. That's their number one influence. Number two influence, Amity Affliction. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Amity Affliction. Uh, definitely second influence. Definitely hear it a lot with the uh, melodic courses. Really reminds me of uh, the Amity Affliction and what they do. All right, number three, Norflame. Old Norflame, not new Norflame. Old Norflame. I'm definitely feeling old Norflame when I listen to this. Um... There is two other bands that you guys probably don't fucking know of that I have listened to in my life. Um, I, but I don't think any of you guys know who the fuck they are. One is Gideon. Gideon is a hardcore band. And the other one is... When I had it, sorry. Feeder to the Sharks. Uh, Feeder to the Sharks. I heard three tracks by Feeder to the Sharks. And uh, dude, fucking amazing band. Um, Memory of You, fucking amazing song. Uh, the Wist World, The World Is Yours, fucking amazing song. And finally, Burn the Traitor, fucking amazing song. It's not a very popular band, um, but uh, they're essentially one of my favorites uh, in metalcore in Australia. Um, next to Norflane, of course. Norflane is my favorite, and Thornhill. But, holy shit, dude. Great album. Genre. Let's get into it, dude. This is the fucking one that everybody fucking argues over, dude. Everyone fucking argues. Oh, this this ain't fucking metalcore. This is posercore, right? <laughs> no, this is metalcore, though. Number one genre, metalcore. For sure. Number two, hardcore. Number three. I'm just going to throw it out there. Ambient. Uh, us Aussies is uh, it's Aussies Auss Aussies excuse me us Aussies know how the fuck to make music yes you definitely fucking do dude uh, so yeah metalcore hardcore ambient melodic and finally we're gonna go with technical for my picks for the genre um, one hell of an album dude and uh, it just brings me to my rating dude it's not better than Orthodox. It's not better than Orthodox. Or it's going to take a lot to beat Orthodox and to beat House of Judgment. Those two albums were some of the best picks you picked this year, dude. Um, but as far as Metalcore goes, this is the best Metalcore album you have requested on my channel. And that being said, this album gets a 10 out of motherfucking 10. I don't even care. Inertia, I didn't get into it. I don't even care about the fucking, the fucking, the fade outs, dude. This album gets a 10 out of 10. This is amazing, dude. 
the, the mixing, the drumming, the guitars, the bass, bro. Fucking oath, Mike. It's a 10 out of 10, bro. 10 out of 10. Which leads me to the next album review. The next album review will be Winter Horde, Underwater Moon. I hope to see you guys there. I know you probably don't listen to black metal or symphonic black metal, but I hope to see you there just to support me and support the people that support this channel. Like motherfucking Griffin over there, dude. This dude's been with me for fucking all close to three years on Patreon, dude. Supporting the fuck out of my channel. And I love him, dude. He's my fucking brother. A lot, a lot of people on my Patreon are my fucking brothers. I'm very personal with what comes to my Patreon. Very personal with them. I try, I try to be at least. Um, a very busy guy. Um, but come to Discord. Please come to Discord. Come to Patreon if you want to support me. Uh, you know, leave a comment on every single one of the, one of these motherfucking videos, dude. Fucking love you guys. Thank you for watching. We're gonna get to the finale. Uh, but sorry, the after stream special. But until then, I will see you later.